beautiful Derbyshire countryside. Uninterrupted views and for once, an uninterrupted walk. Hello. Oh, really? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be there. See that tooth? Sweetest tooth you'll ever see. And today it will be satisfied. I'm going to be a confectioner. Good morning. Good morning, can I help you? Yes, I'm here to see your master confectioner. And your name is? Mark Wogan. If you'd like to sign in for me, I'll let him know that you're here. Excellent. Hello. Hello, could you let Barry know that I've got Mark Wogan in reception? OK, thanks, bye. He's on his way across, he'll be a few seconds. Fantastic, okay. I can't wait. <sighs> Hi, Mark. I'm Barry. Barry. Hi, pleasure to meet you. How are you, sir? I'm all right, thank you. Are you? No. I'm not bad, but I've got a bit of a chocolate problem, okay. and I was wondering if you could help. I'm sure we can. Now, uh, what have you got planned today? Well, what I thought we'd do is we'd create something really special and exclusive just for yourself. What, like my own chocolate? So your very own chocolate, and it's going to be very, very special. Good. Now, how do we get on with that? Well, the first thing we need to do, or what I'd like you to do, is go into the factory with Nick and just see some processes in there, and I'm going to go and get my creative juices going. We'll meet up later, and we'll sort it. Brilliant. Which way? Over here, Mark. Hair nets. I can't wait. So, Nick, you are factory manager. Manufacturing what? manager. Manufacturing manager of this whole place. Yes. Now, I've been sent down here because I've got to learn about the whole manufacturing process. So obviously you're the man to tell me. But this seems like a huge operation. Exactly how big is it? Well, we start off, we've got three different processes where we make centres, moulded chocolates and then road chocolates. We start off in the centres where we have over 350 different raw materials delivered, which go to make up 500 different centres. Um, some of the interesting facts in that, the gingers come from Australia. We have a tonne of cream delivered most days. Every um, day? Every day, cream. yeah. Then uh, other facts are we have about 60 tonnes of chocolate delivered each day, and that's a mix of, of milk, plain and white. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's a lot of chocolate. Some of the, the faster end roving lines will be producing a tonne of finished chocolates every hour. Every hour? Every hour. And some of the moulding plants over a year will produce something like 52 million chocolates. What, just one plant? Yeah. So who eats it all? I mean, do, do the people work, working here eat quite a bit? Well, the people who work here are allowed to, to eat what they want. Really? Um, yeah. As long as they don't take it out of the factory floor. We've had to put some wide doors in sometimes to get them out, but uh, <laughs> they can take what they want. Um, and then, of course, we hope that the general public goes and buys it all. But, I mean, that is an enormous amount of chocolate. It is. I mean, is it sold all over the world? No, we just sell in Britain at the moment. So we start at centres? We start at centres. Right, let's go to centres. And then we'll move on to Enrobin and see the story completed. Excellent. Centres it is. Um, where are we now? Centres? OK, Mark, this is centres, yeah. So this is where the whole story starts. Once we've brought the raw materials in from the raw materials store, we can get ready to make the centre. On this particular plant, the auto plant, we bring in things like water, sugar, glucose, to the roof held in a silo out of the back. All oh, right, so it's piped into the cooker oh, yes. up there. That's right. So the cooker at the top, it'll have things like fondant added in and all the ingredients we've just talked about. For this particular product, lemon parfait, we boil it to around 126 degrees centigrade right. and it's dropped through into the bottom mixer where we add the flavourings. Right. Once the flavourings are added in, we can pour it into one of these grey trays and it comes out in its liquid form and then it's left to cool. Oh, so, what, well, that's still 120 degrees or so now? It is, yeah, it's starting to cool. It's quite hot, that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very liquidy, as you can see. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go and see how we use that. OK, excellent. OK, so we'll go off this way. So this is how the centres end up, then? That's right. Once it's been poured out in the liquid form, it's left to set in the 45 stores. It comes out nice and hard like this. The 45 stores? That's right. It's stored at 45 degrees C, so it oh, takes right. all the I heat see. out right. the centre. And it goes all hard? It goes all hard. Now, it's too hard for us to use like this. Right. We need to whip it up and put a bit of air into it. And then what we do is we take this over to the mixer to mix it up. Right. So these big lumps, where do they go? They're lifted up now and they're dropped into the mixer here, where the blades chop the centre up. 
to get it into the consistency of pastry. So we can see that coming out now. Ah, I see. So we need to come along and hold this here. Oh, hold it. Right, I've got it. So you can see the centre now. So if you hold it in tight, right, push it back. That's it, and then move it over. This okay, so this is looks the centre incredible. to use now. And what is this? Is it, what flavour centre is this? Okay, stop, Rob. So this is the taffle centre. We yeah. use this to make the special toffee truffle. Okay. Uh, this will get now go away onto the extruder and be used to make the, the chocolates. The extruder? That's right. That sounds like an opportunity to get my hands dirty. It certainly is, and we'll go and do that now. So come on, we'll pull this away. Right. And we'll take it with us. Off we go. Right, so this is a different trolley to the one we were pushing around, because this right. one's already here for us. OK, so you said you wanted to get your hands dirty, yep. so this is your chance, Mark. Right, what do I do? Well, you stick your hands in, get a nice large amount, bring it over to the starch, roll it, pick yep. it up, and pop it over into the extruder for us. OK, so a bit of sugar on my hands That's first. right. Like a weightlifter. That's right, come on. Ooh. Get your hands in, goes. in, dig down, that's it. Fingers straight in. Whee! Bring it over. Roll it in the starch. That'll do. Pick it up. And throw it in. Now don't press that guard down, because that's right. what we call the welly guard. Right. So if you go far enough in to knock that with your wellies, the machine will stop. <laughs> OK, so you need to turn around and do that again. Right. A bit more sugar. That's it. More centre. Pick it up, throw it in. Now, if you Beautiful. carry on like this, you can have a job here. OK, Mark, so once we've taken the centre from the extruder, we'll come through a cooler for about five minutes. Firms the centre up before it comes to this warm enrobing process. You can see that the liquid chocolate's in this enrober. First, we're putting the bottom on. All oh, right, it's pushed up through the racks at the bottom right. there. And then we want to cover it by the top, and it's enrobed in chocolate, it's covered. You right. can see it's actually smothered in chocolate here. Oh. And as you can see, what we need to do is blow the excess chocolate off. There's so much chocolate going on there. That's Where right. does all the excess go? What it does is it's gathered into the bottom yeah. and it's recycled back up to the top oh, to be used once see. again. Yeah. Very clever. And, and then, then if there is any excess chocolate, we want to shake it and yeah. get rid of it. Now, this product has toffee in between the first and second coat of chocolate. Oh. So just at the end here, we can see the toffee piece has been sprinkled on. It's then cooled for a further 15 minutes before the final coat is applied. So, it's been through this long, great cooling thing here, and then what happens? That's right. Well, now the toffee pieces have stuck to the chocolate because it's dry. Yeah. We're going to put the final coat of chocolate on, Fantastic. shake it all off, send it through the final cooler, and I think we should go and eat one. What, right at the end? Yeah. Fantastic. Come on, let's go. Well, there we have it, there. I've seen the whole life span, apart from the eating bit, obviously, yeah. of an enrobed chocolate. We've seen the centre making, we've seen the extruding. extruding. We've seen the coating process. That's right, that the coat? enrobing. Oh, the enrobing, sorry, right. enrobing. And uh, be a shame not to try one, really, wouldn't it? Well, I'd try one, yeah. Hmm, that's delicious. Well, you said something about moulding. Well, that's Barry's department. So I think he's got that mould ready for you now, so we'll go over and see him. Okay, yeah. okay let's All go. Then. Good to see you again, Barry. And you I've are. had an amazing morning. I've been that deep in centres. Well, anyway, we won't go into that now. What I need to know is, what have you come up with? Well, I thought what we'd actually do is make you a nice champagne bottle with the Taste logo across the front. Very good. Yeah, will that do? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Excellent. Right, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is take the melted chocolate and temper it. Right. Now, the reason we're doing this, or if we didn't temper it, the chocolate wouldn't set, it wouldn't have a nice shine to it, and what's most important, with a moulded product like this is it won't contract, so therefore it won't come out of the mould. All right, tell me, tell me, why does tempering involve throwing it on the table? Well, I didn't throw it, Mark, and I was a bit more... <laughs> oh, gently pouring out, it. Right? Sorry, Barry, well, gently what pouring it. What we need to do, is obviously we've got the warm chocolate, and now we need to cool it down. So this, this slab has actually got cold water running through it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's quite cold, yeah. right, isn't it? So we're just taking some of the temperature of the chocolate down now. A refrigerated table. Yeah, excellent, yeah. Do you want to have a go at this, or...? Go on, then, let's have a go. Yeah. Now, keep it on the table, yeah? yeah. Mind your shoes. Yeah, so... Yeah, so spread it about, spread move it about, it about a bit, Mark, or else we're going to have a great big lump. I'll just move it like That's that. It. And then, and then put the scraper through it. That's it, you are natural. Look at that. 
Yeah. This, I've, ha I've, I've obviously handled chocolate before. As oh, no see, doubt. Yeah. 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 No doubt. That. That's it. Keep it on the move, and you have to move the whole thing. Yeah. Get, we'll go around the edges and everything. Okay. So then, when we've got it, uh, now use the palette knife, Mark, not your fingers. Yeah. All right. So. All, right. all right. Then when yeah, we've got it, all, you take that I'll, over, and I'll just get those clean. Yeah. Okay. So, how long have you been doing this, Barry? Uh, I've been we've been at Thorntons now for 14 years. 14 years. Yep. And what is your exact title? Uh, master chocolatier. Ma master chocolatier. Now, how do you learn to be a master chocolatier? Well, my background actually, I was a pastry chef. So I'm employed from the creative abilities rather than the technical knowledge as such. Oh, I see. Yeah, but my background is a chef. Is a chef? Yep. Where, where were you a chef? Well, prior to coming to Thornton's, I was a patissier at the Savoy. Oh, the one in London, that is. Yeah. And, but how do you make the change from that to this? Uh, well, it's actually quite difficult because uh, working in a working day to day in the kitchen and working day to day to, in offices and going to meetings and all that is actually quite a change in lifestyle, uh, but a positive one. Yes, obviously, because I mean you, you love it here, don't you? Absolutely. Because it's a creative right. process every day, isn't that, it? You're that's right. Constantly coming up with new chocolates. I mean, all the chocolates that Thorntons make are invented here, aren't they? That's right, in, the, in these kitchens. By this man. Yeah. And obviously our satisfaction is going any, in, into any town in, within the UK and going into a store and saying, well, you know, I did that. So do you sort of, you know, hold a stranglehold over Thornton's then? Because, I mean, you could just say, look, if Barry doesn't want to come up with another chocolate, then Thornton's have got no new chocolates, or is there other people that you train to do what you do? No, I mean, there, there's other people within the kitchen area that... Uh, I've been trained, well, basically to take over from me eventually, but I'm, yeah. I'm going slowly. Really. Yeah, exactly. You don't want that to happen, to happen too fast, Barry, do you? No. Okay. So we've put the melted chocolate, or the cooled chocolate, shall I say, right. back So you've cooled that. that down, yep. and it's become slightly thicker as become a result. It's become slightly thicker, but now what we need to do is actually warm it up slightly. So what I did, I left some of the warm chocolate in the pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we mix in the warm chocolate with the cold chocolate, and uh, that will give us a perfect temper. So we're going to run it around the mould, okay, and then just yep. fill the neck up because we don't want all that chocolate in there because there'll be too much. Right. So we're going to run it out. You've done this before, haven't you? Barry? Once or twice. I can tell. Okay. Nice clean top there. Just run and it then what we'll do is we'll tip that upside down. And the chocolate, the excess chocolate in there, will run down and that will form a rim for us to stick them together. Okay. So if I do the other half. You do the other half to, you know, show us how to do a whole one properly. Yeah. And then I'll make a complete pig zero of those ones. Not at all. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. You're in the hands of the master now. You see. Of course, yes. So, so don't, don't let me down, Mark. Eh? Okay. So are you teaching people all the time? Well, uh, yeah, as part of or the... Or do they go somewhere else outside of Thornton's to learn as well? Oh, no, I mean, we've got enough expertise within the, within the business to, to teach people. So in it goes. You tell me when. Yeah, that'll do you. Okay. okay. And I'll just... And run it round the edge. Run it round the edge. Keeping it all in the mould, Mark, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, doing well. Excellent. Okay, so run it down the bottle a little bit as well. Okay. Of course, the other thing is the chocolate will start to set, so we need to, to move it a bit of pace as well. Right, so what you're saying is hurry up. No, no. <laughs> so are you, you right-handed, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay, so just let it run out a little bit more. Because the other thing is we don't want to be giving too much chocolate away, otherwise no. we don't want it to be too thick. Definitely. Excellent, so just clean that off now. Okay. Pretty good, yeah? Yeah, you happy with that? Yeah. You see? Excellent. Okay. Now you see that the chocolate's actually still running down the mould, so that'll form a nice rim for us. Ah, good. So if you do the other half, the other half. Hey, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to guess with this one. Okay, guess don't what? tell me when. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll guess how All much right. to put in. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, in the factory, what they do is they do it slightly different to us in that they actually spin them as a whole but we find it much easier in here if we actually make it in two halves and stick it together. It's pretty full bottom. Excellent. There we go. Well done. So pop that down there. So what okay. we do now is we'll let those cool for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're going to go on to doing the taste logo, which is, if you think this was difficult, wait till we do the next bit. All right, so you say 20 minutes? 
They'll be, they'll be set in about 20 minutes. Does that mean, like, you know, a cup of tea? Uh, no time for tea. Oh. So what are we going to do next? I'm sure you'll find me something. Yeah. Do. Oh, yeah. Come on, then. Cheers. All right, so, Barry, I've got these uh, rubber gloves on. It must be a very technical thing you want me it's to do next. It's extremely technical, Mark. So you'll need this as well. You see all these pots? I'd like you to give them a good scrub. Yeah. So I'm washing up is what you're talking about? Scrubbing. Yeah. I'm off for a cup of tea. Enjoy. OK. Cheers, Barry. Thanks. They're awfully kind around here. Washing up, Barry. Yeah, that'd be a great job you did too, Mark. Oh, no. Thank, Thank you. you. Hope you enjoyed your tea. I did. But you have been busy as well. You've emptied these out of the moulds and stuck them all together and wrapped the foil around the top. And I think the only thing left now is the logo. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, so do you want me to show you that, or are we just yeah. going to go straight through? Oh no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I need to watch the master at work okay. first. Right. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, make a piping bag because right. we don't use cloth piping bags here. We use paper. Yeah. So it's actually quite straightforward. Yeah, no, that looked really straightforward. Yeah. All right. You got that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so your turn now, Mark. Okay. All oh, right, I'll show you once more. Your right hand, yep. top right hand corner. Mm -hmm. And all, what you're doing really is folding your left hand around your right until you decide what sort of size bag you want, and then fold the top over and then seal it. So like that? Now, hand around the other way, right hand around the other way. That's oh, it. Okay. So right, wrap your left hand around your right hand. Oh, I've got you. Yeah. It's not, how are we going? It's not folding the top. No, I'll, I'll tell you what. What? Oh, you, you use mine, yeah? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, it perseveres. No, squeeze it up. Pull it up there like that. All right, that. pull it up there like that. Yeah. Take your hand out and fold that bit into there. Fold that bit into there. Yeah. And then if you just tear the top of it and that'll stop it coming. There? Yeah. That's it. Just tear it a couple of times, fold it over. Excellent, so I was, I was prejudging you too early. There you go. Look, eh? Fantastic. Anyway, Barry, carry okay. on. Okay, <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is actually pipe the taste logo on the egg. So okay. we're going to do that in, pl in plain chocolate. So we've made the actual bottles in milk, but to make it stand out and really have some profile on shelf, we're going to do that in plain. So we're just going to pour some into the piping bag. You don't need too much. You need a very steady hand for this. Yeah. Okay, and there's a trick here as well is to fold the bag over. Right. Because otherwise you're going to have it comes out the top. all over your boots. Okay. And then this is the real easy bit. Not this bit, this is actually, this is easy. But then. So what we need to do is Snip pipe the, end there. the taste logo. So we're going to do the outline and we're going to go back and fill it in afterwards. Okay. So, 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 piping bag. You got your bag? Pour Get something. the chocolate. Yeah, no. That's it, just wipe the bottom off. Don't put too much in, or you just make it difficult for yourself. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Right, I'll take that one. Oh, my bag. More washing up for you later, Mark. Oh, no problem. Right. Right, uh, take, a, take, <laughs> take another bag. Another. Well, that was a faulty bag, that one, wasn't it? Now, shall I fill it for you? Yeah, go on then. I'll just get rid of this chocolate. I'm disappointed, Mark, because up to then, you were going extremely well. You just got a bit carried away or, <coughs> or hungry, one or the other. Well, yeah. Do you want me to fold it for you? Yeah, if you would, please. I'll snip it myself. Oh, yeah, that's good of you. All right. right. Snip away, then. And here we go. OK. Is that all right? Yeah, so remember, we want to do the outline first, so you only want a small hole. Probably a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> That bigger? Yeah. yeah. Bit bigger? No, that should be okay. okay. Just have a go and then we'll see. Right. We can you can always make the hole bigger, you can't make it smaller. So, two. So snip. now we snip off snip, snip a little bit bigger hole. Yeah, and then we're going to fill it in. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Uh, not for a long, long time, as it's probably showing. In the dim and distant, eh? Yeah, well, it's usually my own birthday cakes, you know, lone, lonely yeah. birthdays at home, piping the end, no, it's okay. Lonely? Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. 
one candle. Yeah. Have you always been one then? Yeah, exactly. I like to stay that age, yeah. both mentally <laughs> and for tax purposes. Yeah. Excellent. Keep it going. Well done. To be honest with you, Mark, it's not, it's not a million miles away from mine. There we go, eh? Fantastic. Not half Well bad. done. You should be very proud. Now, how, how, how good a seller do you reckon these are going to be, Barry? We've got 40,000 in the forecast. Yep. We collaborate we'll with marketing. We'll up that to 60, and we have no problem moving these. Okay. Absolutely. So lots of uh, style, lots of creativity, and lots of impact on shelf. Do you think I should get up to the shop, see if I can flog a few? Yeah. All right. Hey, let's go for it, eh? Cheers. Cheers. See ya. Excuse me, madam. madam. Can I can I interest you in uh, this, the latest from the Thornton's range, which is the Taste Champagne bottle, uh, done by my own fair hands, and to you, madam, at the uh, small price of eight pounds for the bottle. Eight pounds? Oh, well, that's the price. I think I must have a case of those. Oh, a case. Uh, that might be a bit of a problem because this oh, is the yeah, only I'm one. Not, no problem. No problem. Yeah, believe it or not, we've just rescheduled the season. We've been able to make between four or five hundred of these in the factory. Oh, excellent. Uh, that's the good side, but unfortunately they haven't got the logo on. Right. So, because you were so good at doing the logo earlier, what we'd like you to do is get over to the development kitchen and do the other 400 for this customer. What, like tomorrow? Oh, no, 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 now. But I'm supposed to be getting home now, Barry. No, let's get over there. One last job and then we can be off. Oh. Yeah? Oh, is that all right? Come on in. Make me way over there. Then, all right, yeah. thanks, Mark. Yeah. And I'll just take your money, madam, and the other 400 will be really Thank shortly. You very much. Forge bar and the buttons may be a great seller. What they need to do because the logo matters. Oh, yeah, Mark is a great seller. Yeah, why not? Always the same. Always going to be.